shadow. Hmm. National Peace Justice um, Center Museum in um, Montgomery, Alabama. All of these bricks are all counties um, where they have documented hangings uh, of slaves. Nevada County, Arkansas. And then we see the names. Um, yeah, this is 4,400 document. Of course, we know this well into the uh, the millions, the millions. I seen Hendry County, Florida over there. I um, also saw, I'm uh, looking for Louds County, Alabama, because that's where um, my people from, which is where I'm at, and uh, right next to Montgomery County, from Hope Hull, Alabama. So, here I am on Alabama in alphabetical order, so I, I'm getting close. Um, but yeah, this, this is definitely a, um, Ooh. I take a deep breath. This is, uh... Oh man, it's really some emotional power. I just feel like a a spirit. Um, I don't know. It's like a kind of almost making me cry type of a happy spirit from the ancestors. I don't know if they're um, physically present right now, obviously. Um, but if they are, they're not bothering me. It's definitely. Woo! You just gotta be here to feel the experience. I'm getting close. Pope, did I pass it? I think I did. Because that's Butler. Coffee County. Arkansas. I just jumped from Alabama to Arkansas to Georgia, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna record some more footage. This is uh, very sentimental. It's, it's the one year. Um, I'm gonna turn this around since my grandmother passed away last year. She was the oldest um, person alive in our family. She was the rock, the foundation. And uh, hopefully this works. She passed away on 11:20 at age 91. That's the nine and the one, which makes ten. 
breaks down to one, which means an ending and a new beginning. Just a little basic numerology for y'all. Nothing's coincidence. But this is definitely some powerful ish. Um, you gotta know thyself. And if you don't know where you came from, you damn sure do not know where you're going. So I seen this place like a year ago, no coincidence, it just popped up somewhere. I don't know if it was the internet or TV. I wanna say it was TV. And I said, um, as many times I done passed through Montgomery, Alabama, you know, my uh, y'all who know me personally know my oldest daughter uh, goes to the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa about an hour and a half from here. So I said, I, I gotta stop by this place and feel this vibe, especially on this day for me. Because <sighs> this is um, the last of four stops, you know, in the uh, transatlantic slave trade. Um, the lineage of my family that I grew up with, I only know uh, the four lineages uh, in this lifetime I only was able to um, meet about one and a half, which is my mother's mother's lineage and my uh, father's mother's half of that lineage. The other two and a half lineages I don't even know, never met them. Uh, I'm definitely curious because when you get on this spiritual awakening journey, it's uh, part of knowing who you are, where you come from, you know. A lot of people walk around don't even know who they are. They're trying to be somebody else, an image of somebody else. And that's not you. You are your own individual person. Stop trying to be other people. I gotta wear a mask. I know it looks lame as hell, but that's their rules. And I respect people's um, personal space. I'm not, uh, you know, as much as I kind of like to buck the rules, you have to respect people's space. This is their space. Just like I re respect yours if you ask me to. Uh, I'm gonna post right here and finish this little video for y'all. So, yeah, so, like I said, I know uh, my mother's mother's lineage, that's who raised me, her and my grandmother, my aunties, um, and that history all started obviously from Africa, from Nigeria, the Congo. They're all Southern and Western Bantu people deep in the Congo, um, also Mali, Tini, Bogo, and uh, Ghana. So um, I definitely know where I come from and who I am. That's part of me. I'm also Scottish, Irish. People have been saying all my life I'm a black Jew until I really did a test and found out, yeah, that's pretty much what I am. Also Irish, Scottish, did I say Irish, Irish, Scottish, um, British. <laughs> Jewish, yeah, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm an international dude, um, so I see things through multiple lenses. But yeah, the, the lineage that actually raised me that I know is my African Hebrew side. I don't care if you real Jews, fake Jews, it don't matter to me, I'm both. So, I, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to uh, show this experience with y'all a little bit. It's not that long, a few minutes. If you can, if you're ever in Montgomery, Alabama, stop by here. Um, it's very emotional. Slavery is very real, still is right now, especially in Africa. People are so distracted with what's going on here in America, they forget what's going on over there. And they always make it a black white thing, but it's much more than that. You know, I don't want to get too deep on y'all, but you know, the Caucasian slave owners were the third wave of slave owners, and that's just in, in recent. Uh, 2,000 years. What's going on, brother? Hey, how's it going, man? Just making a little video, dropping some knowledge on some people. Yes, sir. You want to you drop some nuggets, talk a little bit about the history of slavery on camera? They get tired of seeing me. You can't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get you in trouble. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, just, just know thyself. That's all I can tell you without diving too deep. Um, but like I was saying, the... Um, People always make it just simply a black white thing, but you know, the Caucasians, the Europeans were third. Before that was the Spaniards. That's who, uh, you know, Christopher Colombo, Christopher Columbus, whatever you want to call them, all of them people were already, they were all Spain. They're not even listed as a race. They're, if anything, they're considered white as well. And we all know who they got the uh, approval from. They got the approval from the Catholic Church. Yes, you Christians, they got it from Pope Nicholas V, as who uh, approved the Spaniards to enslaved uh, this this I recorded this verbiage over here it said approximately 12 million um, slaves and even before that the original slave owners were the Arabs the Arab people um, 
So, you know, you gotta, you gotta know your history, man. Sometimes we be cheerleading for other people and not even know the enemy will be right in front of your face because you're blinded. Um, take off the mask and the lens, open that third eye, that pineal gland, man, until you awaken it and now uh, you need to declassify. Stop using fluoride in the toothpaste, stop drinking soda, stop eating all that sugar, stuff that logs you down, um, ties you down, meditate, do yoga, heighten, enlighten, grow. So that's all about. That's all it's really all. It's so simple. We even always make this shit so difficult. It's so simple. But let me go because I think this thing's gonna stop at 12 minutes. I think I've been babbling for probably close to that now. So hey, this is just a travel blog. It's gonna be just another branch off the tree of life. It's not a 239 Spiritual Awakening, 239 Healers Collective group uh, video. You know, I got my marijuana cannabis videos, it's like another branch. I got my travel blogs, which this is. I also got uh, different events, different concerts, and different places I take y'all. This is just all documenting part of my life. So at least when history goes down, I'll still have it. I can prove it and say it actually happened because history is, and as you see, we'll get erased if we don't. Um, that's it, man. I gotta go on to the next one. I'm trying to see if I can connect with my family here. We're gonna actually go to the plantation of where my family was at and uh, the grave site of the oldest person in our family that I can document. His name's Gabriel Bowie. Coincidence, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel. They just didn't stop with pushing that Christianity, but I ain't mad. At least they named him after an Archangel. Um, and that's my great, 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 great grandfather. That's as far as I could dig back so far to about 1780, because as those of you other deep divers know, it gets a little bit more challenging after 1780, 1790 because of the census. So then you gotta start looking into obituaries, um, newspapers, you gotta dive a little bit deeper, deeper, deeper if you wanna go deeper into knowing thyself. So yeah, man, but keep going because you gotta know who you are. If you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're in, you don't know where you're going. And on that note, I'll be back with some more, man. We just getting started. It's your man, Jay Green. Y'all have a blessed day. And I can't hold both hands, so I just say namaste. <laughs>